Hey everybody, just received the latest over the air update for my Tesla Model 3. I am now running 2018.26.3. So let's run through this together. Lock confirmation sound. Model 3 is now able to emit confirmation sounds when locked, unlocked, or if there's a mislock. For example, if a door is not fully closed. To enable this feature, tap controls, locks, settings, lock confirmation sound. Previous release notes. So I'm a few behind here. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's go over some of these new ones for me. Speed limit mode. This new feature limits the acceleration of your vehicle and allows you to set a maximum speed limit between 50 miles per hour and 90 miles per hour. While your vehicle is in park, you can activate speed limit mode by tapping controls, safety and security on the touchscreen, or by tapping controls on the mobile app. You must, be, you must use the same four digit pin to enable or disable speed limit mode. A notification is sent to your mobile device if your vehicle approaches the set maximum speed. Note, speed limit mode requires mobile app version 3.4.1 or later. In memory of Barrett Riley. Autopilot. We've changed the hold steering wheel alert to now display as apply light force to steering wheel to better communicate how autopilot detects your hands on the steering wheel, reducing the frequency of the alert displaying. As a reminder, auto steer detects your hands by recognizing light resistance as the steering wheel turns or from you manually turning the steering wheel very lightly. Instrument cluster. The instrument cluster now displays the vehicles in the adjacent lanes in front of you. Traffic aware cruise control. When taking a highway exit or interchange with traffic aware cruise control tack turned on, your vehicle decelerates as needed, but will not bring your vehicle to a complete stop. While your vehicle decelerates, the blue circle around the set cruise speed will rotate to indicate this feature is activated. Summon. We've all been waiting for this in the Model 3 family. Model 3 can now be summoned in and out of narrow parking spaces using the mobile app. To enable this feature, tap controls, autopilot, summon. To learn how to initiate, cancel, and customize summon, refer to the owner's manual. Wi-Fi. This is a big one for a fair amount of us, I feel. With this release, Model 3 now connects to available Wi-Fi networks. Tap the LTE icon at the top of the touchscreen and select the network you want to join. Cabin Overheat Protection. When active, your vehicle prevents the interior temperature from exceeding 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius for up to 12 hours after you exit your vehicle. This feature is turned on by default, but can be disabled by tapping controls, Safety and security. Cabin overheat protection stops operating when the battery energy level is 20% or less. And collapsible alerts. Non-critical alerts now automatically collapse when park assist is in use. For example, the rear ultrasonic sensors detect an object while in reverse. You can also manually collapse non-critical alerts at any time by swiping the message to the left. To expand the alert again, swipe the icon to the right. Note that critical alerts cannot be collapsed and the collapsed alerts automatically expand again in the next drive cycle or if a new alert is triggered. So. Uh, I want to talk about a few here. One, Wi-Fi. Something I learned recently that I wanted to share with you all is I'm a few updates behind, and one of the feel one of the reasons I think that might be is where I park. A lot of times at work, I am parking in a garage where I'm underground a lot of times, and with that, I have very low signal strength. And I was told that if the car tries to get an update, but it fails for whatever reason due to low connectivity or whatever reason, the car, due to it trying to save as much, and I believe this was the term that they used, the memory cache, that it will not try to reinitiate re that 
uh, cycle for the update again. And so you will need to take it to a service center for you to get that update. Um, I'm not sure if that's what happened to me. I'm not sure if it was because of bugs that they were fixing, but I thought that was interesting that they had brought that up. And I think Wi-Fi will help take care of a lot of that. Um, although uh, the LTE signal is not strong in the basement at work, uh, there are routers throughout and I should be able to connect there. So I will try that. Uh, also at home, it will be nice to have it as well because my LTE signal is pretty low here at home uh, so that's that the other one that I wanted to just do a quick demonstration of and I thought about it here while reading so as an example if the door is not fully closed I really like having this lock confirmation uh, you hit the uh, controls which is the little car symbol you go from there to lock settings which is the cog and you uh, turn on that lock confirmation um, setting and I really like this one. It just gives you a little extra sound to let you know uh, that your car has been locked. I am still keeping my mirrors folding in, but I'll give a quick demonstration of the sound when it does lock. But I also want to give a try to see if there's a sound uh, if the door doesn't close completely and you walk away from the car or if it's just that you don't hear a beep. So let's give that a try right now. So let's head out and I have closed the door and let's walk away. So there we go. That's when it's working properly and you've walked away from the car letting you know your car has successfully been locked. But let's see what happens. If I'm closing and I do not, so it's still running, still on, door is not successfully locked, and I walk the same distance away. No, nope, doesn't look like it. I thought maybe there was another sound that it might initiate. So there we go. If you don't hear the beep, you know that it has not been turned off successfully or closed successfully. Pardon me. So uh, that is the latest update. If anybody has any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section below, please. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell if you want to be notified of the latest updates. Just to let you guys know, um, within my next video or two, there's a lot of Model 3s that I see are getting the PPF and ceramic coating. And for a lot of you, it probably is a great choice. Um, I might go that route, but I'm going to try something first. So if you're into working with your cars or if you want a different look than the ceramic coating, I uh, what I will say is do your homework, do your research, uh, check to see a Model 3 with ceramic coating and some of the other uh, types of uh, protection that you can put on your car because you will get a very different look depending on what you go with. Uh, so what I'm going with, at least at first, it's on its way. Probably will be here within uh, a week or two. And I will put together a video for you guys if you're a, if you're a DIY type of person. Um, I highly recommend you hitting that subscribe button. I think you'll really like the next video um, that I put together with this to see what I choose and why I uh, chose it. So stick around and uh, thank you for watching. And like always, I will talk to you next time. Thanks everybody.